So fast forward to a couple years later, my husband and I are now, then we were living in North Carolina in Greensboro. We have this beautiful church, right? And um, in the beginning, we didn't have all the carpets. We didn't have everything that we needed. Amen. Yes, he does, Sabrina. He sees everything. And it was just so crazy because, you know, we didn't have the kitchen refrigerators, the countertops. We didn't have the cabinets. We didn't have the church chairs. We didn't have the, the projectors. We didn't have anything. And when I sit here and tell you that God was providing a way in the wilderness, he was providing a way in the wilderness. Like when I sit here and tell you that he was out there opening doors for us. Like when I sit here and tell you painters came and was painting the church for free. People was coming and was shampooing the carpets for free. We was getting everything discounted. It was just like so crazy, everything that God did. So we was like, I think three weeks away from opening up the church and we didn't have money for the signs. And we have not only one storefront, but two storefronts in one. So we have like, you know, we had a shopping plaza. So instead of one location, we have two. So it's like we're paying for two locations. So, um... Anywho, um, we didn't have the signs. I didn't have no money for the first service. I didn't have no food. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like so embarrassed. I'm like, what are we gonna do? I'm like, ah. And then so the pastor, he starts going on this three-day fast. Now, mind you, I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, this man is crazy. He's gonna die on this spiritual fast. Like, I need a husband. I'm not trying to be a widow again. I'm like, I already went through this. I'm like, you better eat something. And he's just sitting there, you know, laughing because I'm sitting there trying to discourage him and like no baby do the fast in the morning and i was like but give it in at six o'clock in the evening it's not a problem three six o'clock god is gonna still appreciate your obedience and he was like uh uh foolish woman uh 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 foolish woman and he did his fasting and i'm over here like man because you know he's a maintenance supervisor he works in the field where he's like an engineer he's always dealing with you know property management he's always dealing with acs electrical a lot of he's dealing with a lot of vendors a lot of people always coming onto the properties landscapers and things like that and i'm just like man i don't want nothing to happen to him because he's going to work i wasn't doing it because i don't love god. like you know because i don't love god i love god but you know, I just really deep down in my heart didn't want anything to happen to him. You know, it wasn't because I didn't want him to be obedient to God. So he ends up, you know, being obedient. And on the third day of his obedience, mind you, I'm over here nervous. I'm like, this man's going to call me and pass out somewhere. And I'm like, I'm going to have to see him in the hospital. But no, his faithfulness, God showed off in his faithfulness. So us not having the money, he's all of a sudden, he's driving his golf cart in the car. And the Lord tells him, get up and go walk over there to those bushes. Now, mind you, wasn't nothing in those bushes. Wasn't nobody standing in that bush. Don't nobody walk to no bushes. Like, who goes and walks to a bush? And he's just looking around like, God, is it you? Talking to me, talking about go to this bush. So my husband, obedient to God, he goes and he starts getting off his golf, court, um, golf cart and he starts walking to this bush. He walks to the bush and God tells him to look down and he looks down and he found a whole lot of money like this rolled up into a rubber band. Them, okay and the lord says to him this is the this is for you this is the money that you guys need that's gonna be for the last final touches of the church and he's like oh my god so he takes the money he doesn't call nisi he doesn't call your girl to tell her baby i found all this money he was quiet and he kept it to himself why i don't know but at the end of the day he calls me no at the end of the day he comes home right and when he comes home he's like yo babe sit down i gotta tell you something hey miss pastor anita how are you mama um you know he's like sit down i gotta tell you something and i'm like what's up and he's like babe i was working today and you know when i was you know today's my last day of my fasting and the lord told me to go over here and blah 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 and when i went over there um you're not gonna believe what i found and i'm like what he's like i found a bunch of money like this a stack of money this big and he was like it was rolled up in a 
rubber band. And I'm like, well, show it to me. Where is this money? I'm like, where's it at? And he's like, I left it at the job. And I'm like, why would you leave that at your job? I'm like, God bless you, Gina. I'm like, that don't make no sense. I'm like, why would you leave that at your job? He's like, because I'm afraid. And he, he was like, what if somebody claims it or something and I took the money? I was like, I was like, boy, ain't nobody gonna claim nothing. I was like, that's our money. Did you not hear what the Lord said? This is the money that you need for the church. Use it for the stuff of the church. I was like, that's our money. I was like, let's go back over there and let's go get our money. And we went to go get it and he didn't even know how much was in there. So when we come back home and I think if I look in my pictures, because in my computer, I have like thousands of pictures. If I look through it, I remember taking pictures with it and I was just like so shocked or whatever. So anywho, we sit in there on the bed and I start counting 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I was counting my way all the way to a thousand dollars, almost a thousand dollars. The Lord just made it boom appear like that. And I didn't have no money for the food. So what did I do? I started using that money to buy all the chickens, to buy all the potato salad, to buy all the rice excuse me, to buy everything that I needed for that first service. And I ordered from um, Brooklyn, New York, the banners that we needed. I didn't need not one banners, but I needed two banners. So I was able to get the banner for one side of the church in Spanish and the other banner for the other side in English because we are bilingual church.